let me start by saying that everything we have on the table today, everything we eat, has been processed in one way or another. Uh, even if it's assumingly fresh, such as an apple, unless you've gone out there and you've plucked it from the tree, uh, unless you have a garden in your backyard and, and you got your lettuce from your own uh, garden, everything else has been handled, has been packaged, has been processed one way or another. So uh, the majority of the food that we consume today has been processed in some way or another. So processing is everywhere. So we can't really say that processing is bad because it allows us to have uh, the, the, the safe, the nutritious, the, the variety of, of foods that we have today. And it also has made our food a lot more inexpensive than what it used to be. If you think back, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50 years, how your grandmother used to cook, uh, they took hours to prepare the meal for, for the day. Uh, today, uh, for most people, that takes a few minutes. Uh, it's a lot easier to prepare food today. Uh, what it used to take hours, it now takes minutes. And that will not have been, uh, would not have been possible without food processing. There's several different studies that, uh, that have been done recently, but the, the most uh, recent one in the Journal of Nutrition, what uh, this study shows is that uh, all sorts of different process, uh, processed foods, and they looked at different uh, uh, varieties or different uh, types of, of processed foods, they contribute significantly to, uh, to our diet in terms of nutrients. So when you look at different types of processed foods, you can't really find one that contributes less or one that contributes more. So when people are trying to make decisions about their diet, about you know, what to eat, uh, processing really shouldn't be a factor because uh, everything we consume is processed. And this study actually shows that you can't really find processed foods or families of processed foods that are contributing more or less in, in terms of nutrients. So the bottom line is that people really, in order to make decisions about food, they should really look at their lifestyle and they should look at their own needs. They need to, to have a balanced diet. They need to uh, move a little more and eat a little less.